Hi friends, it's Miss G again. Today we are going to read the baseball counting book. Do you guys like to play baseball? Yes, so much fun. The baseball counting book by Barbara Barberry McGrath and illustrated by Brian Shaw. Illustrated means that she drew the pictures. So we have the Blue Sox team and the Stars team. This is their scoreboard and they both have zero points. Come play baseball, you could be a hero. The game's starting score is zero to zero. So in the beginning, they start at zero because they have no points. So zero means nothing. And so they start with nothing. Let's see if they get any along the way. One, there will be one ball, one bat, and one call. The game will begin when you hear play ball. One, one ball, one bat, and one call. Two, we need two teams to play in the game. Each team will have its own special name. This is the Blue Sox and this is the Stars. So they have two teams, one, two. Three, three. Swing and miss three times and the umpire will shout, strike one, strike two, strike three, and you're out. Uh-oh, that's not good to be out, is it? No, we definitely want to hit the ball. But if you miss it three times, the umpire calls, um, you're out. Number four. If the pitch is outside, inside, high or low, ball four is the call. And to the first base, you go. So if the person who throws the ball throws it somewhere that they're not supposed to, if they throw it in the wrong way, then they call ball four and you get to go to first base. One, two, three, four. Five. When there's a full count, we say three and two. Five fingers up, his turn's almost through. One, two, three, four, five. Three and two makes five. Six. Coach has a plan to tell those who are near. The six on the infield are the ones who will hear. Six. This little boy has a six on his Jersey, and that means his number is six. Every person has a different number on their outfit or on their shirt so that we know who is who based on their numbers. Seven innings have passed. It's time to stretch. The, these seven fans had some hot dogs to fetch. Seven. Seven. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven people. The catcher has found the one catcher's mitt. Eight gloves are left. Find yours. Does it fit? Do you have a, um, a glove or a pitcher's mitt or a catcher's mitt? Yeah? All right, let's count and see how many there are left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight gloves left, and he picked up the one um, catcher's mitt. And it's a catcher's mitt because it's a little bit more padded it, for, the, for him to catch the ball. Eight. Out on the field are nine places to stand. 
check to be sure each position is manned. Is there someone at each position? Nine. Let's see. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these guys are around the bases that the people are going to run to as if they hit the ball. These people out here in the grass are your outfield people. In case the ball goes way far away, they're in charge of catching it. This is the pitcher and this is the catcher. Which position would you like to play? I think I would like to be an outfield. I think that would be fun to try to catch a ball. 10, hold the bat tightly so that it won't slip. 10 fingers are helpful for the right grip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You don't wanna let go of the bat. It might hit someone in the head. 11 bats to choose from. Find one that feels right. Keep your eye on the ball and hit with all your might. 11. 11. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This one's just right for him. Here are 12 pieces of gear. Count the pairs as just one. What would you need to get your job done? So depending on where you're standing depends on what type of gear you need. So here is um, uh, a mitt to get, catch the ball. Here is the person who squats down where they um, swing the bat. He's got a lot of protective gear to wear to keep him safe. Then we have a uniform, a baseball and a bat, a helmet and a base and some shoes. We definitely need shoes. 12, 13. 13 good luck charms make some players feel that they will be safe when they try to steal the base. Steal the base means you slide in right before they get there and put your foot on the base. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 lucky charms. There are 14 letters in this famous man's name. It is said it was he who invented the game. Abner Doubleday Baseball Park. 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 letters in his name. 15. A scorecard's one way a team um, a scorecard's one way a team score can be seen. The scoreboard now shows the teams tied at 15. That means they both have the same amount of points. They both have 15. Here's the scoreboard. 15 and 15. Blue Sox 15. Stars 15. It's the bottom of the ninth and the pitcher will throw 16 practice balls as fast as they'll go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 balls. The bases are loaded. The excitement is great. 17 pairs of eyes. Watch the boy at home plate. 17. So let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 people are watching the boy go up to the plate to hit the ball. 18. 18 anxious players will soon hear the news. 9 players will win. 9 players will lose. 9 plus 9 is 18. Let's double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 players. It's a grand slam. The game is over, but wait.
Here are 19 ice cream cones. Let's celebrate. 19, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 ice cream cones. I love ice cream, don't you? If you love to play baseball and practice it too, one of these 20 cards might picture you. Wouldn't you like to be on a baseball card? That'd be so cool. 20, 20. See all the cool pictures of the baseball players? The end. Well, thanks for reading with me today. Don't forget to subscribe so you can continue to learn about numbers, letters, and words. Toodaloo!